This is lesson number three in the series of lessons that accompany the book How to Play the Three-String Cigar Box Guitar. And today we're going to be talking about how to read the tablature. If you look on page 26 at figure 1-9, we've got a couple simple licks here. And actually, we'll, we'll learn to play these licks as we go along. But this is just for reading tablature. What do all these things mean? Notice that there are three horizontal lines. And if you read standard music, you know there should be five. Well, <laughs> there's not. Because these don't represent staff lines. They just represent the strings of the guitar. The bottom one being the low G. The middle one is the second string. And the top string, or the top line, is the first string. Notice I put the tuning there too, GDG. A lot of times you won't see the tuning in the tab if the, if the book is all in the same key with the same tuning. A lot of times they don't bother with that. But just for the sake of reading the tablature, that's what that means. GDG is the tuning. Right next to the GDG tuning is a 1. That's the measure number. So the vertical bar lines divided up into to measures. In this figure we've got four measures and I put measure numbers on the top of each bar. Typically you won't see that either. Usually just at the beginning of a line. A song could be several bars, several measures, or even several pages and it's just a way to quickly find where you're at in the song. So the horizontal lines are the strings. The numbers that you see on, the, on those lines are the frets. Okay, Not necessarily the finger, but the frets on that string because you could see like 17. <laughs> so nobody's got 17 fingers, but we do have 17 frets on the guitar. Um, you'll notice in the staff above there, I just put that in for reference. We're going to be focusing on tablature, but a lot of times I'll include the, the standard music notation uh, because it helps with the timing mainly. But you notice on the staff, we've got a sharp there, so we're in the key of G. We'll talk more about uh, music theory as we go along. Not a lot, but a little bit. And the time signature is 4-4. Again, we're going to talk a little bit more about time signatures later, but that means four beats to the measure, and a quarter note gets one beat. In the first measure, how do we read this? On the second string, it's open, and then we have a connected note to the second fret with an H below it. That's a hammer on. So if we hit that string and we hammer on with a finger, so that's both eighth notes. They have their, their flags beamed together, tied together, but it's by the beat. This would go like this. One and two. That would be the first two measures. Just, just so you can hear the sound of this. And the next one is very similar, starting in measure three in the second system. Actually, <laughs> I know we're just learning to read tab here, but in one of the songs we're going to learn called the 10 Mile Stump, we actually use these two licks and I add a bass. Just a thumping bass like this. So if I were to add that bass in, and you don't see it here in this figure, but you'd have a quarter note on the open uh, third string every time. But it would be like this. Okay, so we can add, just by adding a little bass in there and maybe syncopating this lick, we end up with quite an interesting little passage. Okay, so that's reading tablature. Pretty easy. Uh, notice in the first measure, we've already discussed the hammer on. And then. Now, the last two quarter notes, we go from two to three. There's an S underneath there, that's a slide. I put the count below. So you see one and two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So if we were to count it in, one, two, three, four. And 
And notice the uh, last note in the second measure is a half note. So that's going to get the beat for it. Let's see if I can count these as we go along. One, two, three, four. 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 So that lasts for through beats four. All right, so that's a little bit on reading the tablature. Pretty straightforward. We like to play by ear, pretty much. But I'll provide tablature for all of the exercises and the songs that we're going to work on, just for reference. It's kind of a good visual to see uh, what's going on on the fingerboard.